like my third attempt to do this. I didn't have enough space on my phone. I don't know if I should be doing this. My phone's trying to sabotage me. Um, um, sorry, I was eating popcorn. But as I was my last clip I was talking about the issues we as women have to deal with or go through rather in order for us to be seen as worthy in society or for us to have recognition as people that exist in society there's an issue and I want to speak about it now since we are going to Breast Cancer Awareness Month and nobody really talks about these issues much and I feel like really now the things that um, we, the youth, put more focus on is, I'm sorry, more than anything is beauty, influencing, but we don't use those platforms those influential platforms say you get a spot or get recognition as an influencer in one way or another through beauty through makeup artistry through a lot of things that people through beauty products through hair through nails through um body positivity um, we don't certainly use such platforms to bring awareness in real issues. Um, what about now we're getting into Breast Cancer Awareness Month and a lot is unknown, a lot hasn't been said, a lot of people aren't educated about it and felt the need to because I'm, I'm just sitting here watching this show called Botched and I felt some type of way because I'm a young woman <laughs> I'm a young woman and I know for a fact that if I'm watching such a show and feel some type of way, someone else out there is also watching the show or something else or some celebrity or getting influenced in one way or another through seeing and believing that their way to move forward in our society is through augmentation or tempering with what we have been given naturally. I'm not contesting against surgery. I think it's a good thing. I think it's it's a confidence booster. I think it is needed. It is what um, it's needed. It's what gives life sometimes it's what takes life it takes life sometimes it takes life it gives life it uh, helps life it helps with day-to-day -day living sometimes so I'm not contesting against it I'm I'm not trying to seem like I'm wanting to look better or be that person that's bashing. 
but the main point here that I wanted to make is through all the tempering we do through all the influences that we get from celebrities or people that go under the knife for one or other reasons um, I'm sorry we tend to forget that there are younger people looking up to us and I just wanted to say that we have to we have to learn to accept what we are we have to learn to accept who we are and what we've been given yes it's okay if you are unhappy to do something about what's not making you happy but um I just wanted to point out that in the way things are going and with how we aren't bringing so much awareness, people are affected daily and all year round by certain issues that are real that involve their breasts such as cancer and some develop lumps which are benign or some aren't benign, some are tumors. Uh, so there's a lot of things that make people feel uncomfortable about talking about their, especially females, when we are when we go through things, we don't want to trust someone to talk about certain things. So I just wanted to bring awareness to the fact that some augmentation or some going under the knife processes are for a better living or to better someone else's health or um to improve their lifestyle and i want to just say that uh, we're all affected in different ways by cancer and i just wanted to say that to people that are going through whatever process whatever procedure whatever they're going through that they should stay strong and trust people enough to talk about these things it it will take time but I think we heal by hearing how other people comfort us so I just wanted to bring awareness this cancer month and to say that we must all support each other and try and listen to reason with people and listen to understand and not judge before you hear what someone's going through and yes we should all support each other and there's a lot of um awareness that we need to be giving or doing in society so um, certain things like this need to be talked about we really need to be talking about going for screenings encouraging our parents our parents are old our parents are from a generation where being strong was what they needed to be but they've they never had parents that were encouraged to go for screenings. That's why in hospitals now, we see a lot of 70-year-olds with breast cancer. We see older women 
hiding lumps. We see older women not talking about the issues. We see you, you find cases where someone fell, an older woman fell at home and they broke their hip. Now they have to come to the hospital and you discover something else because medically, if someone breaks something else, uh, doctors need to clear their chest. So the chest region is where our boobs are. And I had a case where there was a patient and I remember I was still a student back then and I was so touched and hurt at the same time because this old lady came and she had fell, broke her hip. So medically, if you find a fracture, you have to do a chest x-ray. And this lady wouldn't want me didn't want me touching her in this region. She didn't want to, she didn't want anyone coming close. So I told her she had to take a bra off so that I could do a chest x-ray. And she'd refused and she was uncomfortable and she was just like hysterical. And I was asking what is wrong. And she was like, you don't understand. You don't, and, and I feel like Mentally, she knew what was going on because when I had, I finally had her take off her bra. I had saw that something abnormal was going on in one of her breasts and there was a lot of fluid weird fluid coming out there was a stench and she just told me that she didn't want to worry her kids and the reason why I'm encouraging us now to go out there tell our parents encourage our parents our grandparents our aunts to go for such screening tests is because they are mostly affected and they had never gone through or had parents that were aware of such issues. So it's in our hands, I feel it's in our hands for us to go out there, bring awareness, get them to go screen so that we can better manage their aging. They can age gracefully and avoid certain things, avoid going to chemos because chemo makes someone very sick. It not only kills the dead, the, it not only kills the, 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 the lump or the abnormal cells. In the process, there are some normal cells that are that get killed in the process. That's how it works. Um, that's why you find that people get s more sick in that chemo process. So let us try and bring awareness, guys. And let's not. I don't want to say let's not focus on real issues, living and being out there and posting about real things, going on lunches and holidays and all that. But I want us to have the awareness of real issues that we have to deal with. I'm sorry day-to-day -day living I mean you find that besides their cancer besides the issues that are fit women there's day-to-day -day things is people that go out there hungry we have to bring awareness we have to help 
um, there's people that cannot access basic help and it's not because they cannot because government provides health services to everyone but it's ha not having mode of transport not affording to take a taxi not affording to um, not affording to take a taxi, not affording to uh, have a, sorry guys, not affording to have an escort. Um, we just have to accept living and be realistic, guys. Um, I'm really... I don't know, today I just really, really felt like I needed to do this. And, yeah, I'm really driven by real issues and I don't want anyone to be like me, but I want to go to bed satisfied that I made at least one person or two aware of what's of what's going on out there and and if we educate ourselves and educate others in the process with whatever little knowledge that we have I feel like we can bring about change in the society that we live in so yeah oh gosh i've been talking for so long um to whoever's gonna be watching this oh good night <laughs> or if you'll be watching it during the day i don't know but yeah let us bring more awareness and learn real issues learn real issues and be part of our societies guys for real there's a lot of things that go on in our societies that we aren't aware of but if we become part of it that's you going out there that's you getting in gatherings. That's you, even if it's once a year, going to a societal meeting just to hear real issues. You never know how you could help or who could or who you could be helped by. You really never know. So. I'm just encouraging people to go out there know what your neighbor is doing know what other people are doing out there and just take it out there to the world take it day by day door by door person by person to bring this awareness out there okay yeah that's it